There's nothing quite like visiting a city's nightlife to get a real feel for what it's like. And that's the great thing about cruising with Vikings Longships is that you get to stop in many of the ports overnight, which is what we're doing here in Cologne. So to get out and really experience the town, I'm taking the optional excursion where I can go out and try the beer. This is called the Cologne Beer Culture and I can't wait because we're headed off to Brauhaus. Our guide for tonight starts us with a stroll through the old town's cobblestone streets. Cologne Old Town has a distinctive historical charm. The rustic narrow alleyways are lined with traditional old houses. So many breweries, pubs and restaurants are here and it's a popular destination with locals and visitors alike. We are in Peter's Brow House. Peter's serves only Peter's Kölsch. Peter's is the brand and Kölsch is the cluster of beer. There are four definitions that you need to fulfill that you are allowed to call your own brewed beer Kölsch. In Germany, we have the law of purity, saying there are four ingredients in the beer and nothing but those four. This is hops, malt, yeast, and water. Second definition, it has to be tapped out of its own carbon dioxide. Third definition, beer is served out of 0.2 glasses. Fourth definition, there has to be at least one spot from your, uh, on your brewing facilities from where you are able to see the cathedral. There are so many fascinating things you learn as part of this tour. For instance, there are so many traditions associated with the drinking process here in Cologne. One thing, when you say cheers, well, you only clink the bottom of the glass. Now, the reason for that is if you clink the top, it's seven years bad luck, which might explain a few things to me. The other thing is that the glasses will, as you drink them, they will be continuously replaced as soon as they get to empty, unless you do one very important thing. And that is, when you're finished and your glass is empty, you pop your coaster on top, and that's the signal to your cove, to your waiter, that you've had enough for the night. If not, it just keeps topping up. It's dangerous. Cheers. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> Now, the whole food experience here is pretty awesome. I've got to tell you, guests don't just get two appetizers, they get two main courses as well as a dessert. And this is one of the main courses. They're very traditional German dishes. Pork knuckle comes with sauerkraut and a traditional pork potato mash. Absolutely sensational food. And I've got to tell you, by the time you've finished eating all of this, maybe trying the Kolsch more than once, you'll just about need to be rolled back to the ship. It's that good. Oh, wow, that was so much fun. What a great excursion and a really good insight to the beer culture here in Cologne. Now, my advice is maybe do two or even three of these bra houses. They are such fun. There's so much to learn, so much to do and experience as you're going along. And the good news is there are over a hundred here in Cologne, which is one of Germany's older cities. So much to learn, so much to do. Gotta get on with it.